The next trick we're gonna do is spin. And so again, this is new for Numa, but if I was teaching a dog to spin, we're gonna start in the stand position. So standing up on all fours. So Numa, stand. Yes, so I'm actually, I'm just looking for her to stand right up. All right, so do again, sit. Numa, stand. Yes, good girl. So now when my puppy is standing, I'm gonna give a little, the, the hand cue will end up being spin, but the way I'm gonna teach her is to take the treat in my hand and roll her around. Yes, good girl. I could teach her to go the other way too. Stand. Yes, good girl. Good girl, Numa. So we'll try a couple more with a treat and then we'll try without using the treat lure. Stand. Yes. Good girl. Treats here. And bring her around in a circle. So when we're going around, I want to keep the treat right at nose level. I don't want to bring it up too high because that will get her to sit. All right. Do one more. She likes it. Stand. Good girl, Numa. Spin. Yes. Good, Numa. Stand. Yes. Good girl. Let's get in the shop. Right there. And spin. Yes. Good girl. So as she gets better, I would want her to go faster, right? Um, I want to keep going both directions. So I'll try one without a treat in my hand. We'll see if she can get it. Numa, stand. Spin. Uh-oh. Nope, so that's too hard. So I'll go back to the little room. Yes. Good girl. Yes. Reward from over here. There you go. Good. Sit. Down. Settle. Yes. Good girl. Okay. Okay, who? Stand. Spin. Yes. Let's try the other way. Spin. So right now I'm making a big circle because she's learning. But once she's got it, I can make it a very small circle. It doesn't have to be so lured. She'll just start to follow the hand cue. You wanna do one more? Stand. Good girl, spin. Yes. By me saying the word before I give the hand cue, it helps her predict what we're also doing. Spin. Yes. 